day everyone today we will learn about network media and cables i will discuss the different types of network media also i will show you how to create an ethernet cable both straight through and crossover cables using networking tools let's define first what is network media Network media, also called as network cable, is the actual path over which an electrical signal travels as it moves from one component to another. It is used to connect one network device to another network device or to connect two or more computers to share printers, scanners, and etc. The different types of network media. We have twisted pair, coaxial cable, fiber optic cable, and wireless communication. Twisted pair is a type of cabling that is used for telephone communications and most modern Ethernet networks. The pairs are twisted to provide protection against crosstalk, the noise generated by adjacent pairs. The two basic types of twisted pair cable Unshielded twisted pair or UTP and Shielded twisted pair or STP Unshielded twisted pair or UTP is a medium that is composed of pairs of wires. Each of the eight individual copper wires in a UTP cable is covered by an insulating material. The wires in each pair are twisted around each other. UTP cable often is installed using a register jack 45 or also called as RJ45 connector. Shielded twisted pair or STP is a cable with each pair of wires is wrapped in a metallic foil. The four pairs of wires then are wrapped in an overall metallic braid or foil usually a 150 ohm cable. STP cabling also uses the same RJ connectors that UTP uses. Coatial cable is a cable consists of hollow outer cylindrical conductor that surrounds a single inner wire made of two conducting elements. One of these elements is located in the center of the cable is a copper conductor. Coatial cable supports 10 to 100 Mbps and is relatively inexpensive. Coatial cable can be used over longer distance than twisted pair cable. Fiber optic cable. It is consists of two fibers encased in separate sheets. The Kevlar reinforcing material furnishes additional cautioning and protection for the fragile hair thin glass fibers. The light guiding parts of an optical fiber are called the core and the cladding. The core is usually very pure glass with a high index of refraction. Fiber optic is the most expensive network media. It supports line speeds of more than 1 gigabits per second. The two types of fiber optic cable, single mode and the multi-mode. Wireless media or communication. It uses radio frequencies or infrared waves to transmit data between devices on a LAN. Wireless signal are electromagnetic waves that can travel through the vacuum of outer space and through a medium such as air. Therefore, no physical medium is necessary for wireless signals, making them a very versatile way to build a network. Wireless frequencies range from 3 kHz to 300 GHz. Now that you have the knowledge on the different network media, check on the next part of this video to explore more and learn how to create your own computer network cable. Before we will start the cable splicing, let's discuss first the two types of UTP cable wiring. Straight through cable wiring. It is used to connect two different layer devices. It is commonly used to connect a server or router to a client computer. 
both ends of the wire can be T568A or T568B. Crossover Cable Wiring It is used to connect two like devices. Most commonly used to connect two computers directly. One end of the wire follows T568A standards and the other end is T568B. Now let's make our own network cable. To start, prepare the following tools. You should have a UTP cable, crimping tool, RJ45, and a LAN tester. Step number one. Unroll the required length of network cable and add a little extra wire just in case. Step number two. Carefully remove the outer jacket of the cable using a crimping tool. Step number three. Inspect the newly revealed wires for any cuts or scrapes that expose the copper wire inside. Step number four. Untwist the pair so they will lay flat between your fingers. Step number five. Arrange the wires based on the network cable standards you want to create. This time, let's create a straight through cable so we will follow the color codes in T568B on both ends. Step number 6. Press all the wires flat and parallel between your thumb and forefinger. Then, cut it straight carefully into the crimping tool. Step number 7. Keep the wires flat and in order as you push them into the RJ45 plug with the flat surface of the plug on top. Step number 8. Stick the connector into the crimping part of the crimping tool and squeeze it. Remove the cable from the tool and check that all of the pins are down. Step number 9. On the other end of the cable, we need to follow the color code of T568B again to achieve a straight-through cable. In case you want to create a crossover, the other end must have the opposite color which is T568A. Step number 10. Using the LAN tester, test the cable and make sure that all the light indicator is on, starting from light indicator 1 up to 8. That's it! You now have your own network cable. All you need to do next is use it on your computer and connect it to any networking devices. Thank you for watching!